The turtles that come to nest on the beaches of Western Cape York face different threats during all stages of their lives. Some of these are caused by humans, while others come from other animals or changes in the environment. On Cape York, some indigenous people have been eating turtle eggs for thousands of years. Some communities have agreed to only take 10 eggs out of the top of the nest and then rebury the rest to hatch later. This helps to make sure that there are still enough turtles for future generations to come. On the Western Cape, the biggest problem for turtle nests is the danger of being dug up by feral pigs, mm. goannas and wild dogs that eat the eggs buried in the sand. Once the hatchings leave their nest, they must escape birds, crabs, dogs, pigs and crocodiles that try to eat them as they move towards the ocean. Baby turtles can become tired and die or get eaten by predators before they make it to the water. Driving on nesting beaches creates tire ruts, preventing hatchlings from reaching the sea. Turtle hatchlings are very small, so drivers on the beach may not see them and could kill these new babies. If they reach the water, they must face hungry sharks, large fishes and other marine animals. On crowded beaches, noise and movement from people and vehicles can disturb these turtles as they come up to lay their eggs. Turtles are very sensitive during this period and might return to the sea without laying their eggs. Turtles can see very well underwater, but their vision is poor on land. This means they can mistake artificial lights in towns for the bright horizon of the ocean, confusing the turtles as they find their way to the sea. Rubbish in our rivers and stormwater drains often finds its way to the sea. Floating garbage can be mistaken for food sources and be eaten by turtles. Plastic becomes stuck in their throat or stomach, causing serious blockages, making turtles sick or even causing death. Some turtles are also injured or killed when fast-moving motorboats and jet skis hit them while swimming. In the past, many turtles were caught and killed by trawl nets or discarded nets, also known as ghost nets. In recent years, rules in Australia changed so that all trawl nets must have turtle excluder devices or TEDs. These act like a special door allowing turtles to escape from the nets safely. Western Cape turtles need our help. It's vital that we do all we can to protect these turtles to ensure they're here for years to come. If you happen to be driving on the beach, only drive at low tide and stay close to the wet sand below the high tide mark. Drive slowly and take caution to avoid any nests. To maintain healthy habitats for our turtles, remove any rubbish or leftover fish nets to keep our beaches and oceans clean. At night, turn off any excess light sources to avoid confusing nesting turtles and their hatchlings. If you find a turtle nesting at night, Watch from a distance and avoid any sudden movements or noises that might scare the turtle. Make sure to keep dogs on a leash around nesting sites to prevent them from disturbing the turtles and their eggs. If we all play a part to reduce the impact of threats, we can ensure that the Western Cape turtle population continues to grow and thrive in the future.